friends. Hi, how are you today? My name is Laura and welcome to Storytime. Today we have a very special story about a person who is really important because he believed that he could make a difference in the world. His name is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he saw that people with white colored skin were able to do things that people with black or dark colored skin were not able to do. And he didn't feel like that was very fair. So for instance, some people with white colored skin could eat in restaurants, but people with dark colored skin couldn't eat in the same restaurant. Do you think that's fair? Hmm, I don't think that's very fair either. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. believed in being fair and being kind and for standing up for what's right. So today's book is about how each of us can make this world a little bit better by the choices and actions that we take. All right, so are you ready to find out more about our story and about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Yeah, give me a thumbs up. All right, so let's sing our opening song. If you know the song, sing it along with me. Ready? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, my friends. So today's story is called Be a King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Dream and You by Carol Boston Weatherford, illustrated by James E. Ransom. You see, this is Dr. King right here. It's a picture of him. All right. It says, you can be a king. Marvel at creation. Keep the faith of your ancestors. See here, here's Dr. King when he was little and see all the pictures on the wall? Those are his ancestors, parts of people in his family who maybe aren't living any longer. But it means basically to be proud. Be proud of your family. Be proud of who you are. You can be a king. Know that bigotry hurts. Remember how you felt when you were treated unfairly. Bigotry is a big word. Do you know what that means? It means when someone doesn't treat someone else fairly just because of maybe the color of their skin or if they believe something different than what that person believes. So look at here, here's Dr. Martin Luther King when he's little and he's playing with his friend and his dad was, the friend's dad was like, oh, I'm sorry, my son can't play with you anymore because you have dark colored skin and we have white colored skin. Is that fair? No. Have you ever felt treated unfairly? Maybe? It doesn't feel very good, does it? Not so much. You can be a king. Admit when that you've done wrong. Just say, I'm sorry, and mean it. <gasps> Do you know what's happening in our picture here? Oh, it looks like somebody, looks like our friend was tying their aprons together, thinking it was kind of fun. Oh, but what happened? They were not having fun. That kind of hurt their feelings, huh? So what did she do? She said, I'm sorry. I know sometimes it can feel hard to say I'm sorry, but saying sorry is a really strong thing for you to be able to do. It's an important thing to be able to do, to be able to admit when you're wrong. You can be a king. Know that dividing walls should come down. You have glimpsed the other side. Wow, look at that. So look at everyone's playing together. People of all different shades of skin are playing together. They're playing games, they're eating, they're talking. That was part of Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. You can be a king. Break the chains of ignorance. Learn as much as you can. Right, so always learning, learning both in school and out of school, learning about all sorts of things. Learn as much as you can. Looks like this is Dr. Martin Luther King going to college. This is, he went to Morehouse College. He's learning all sorts of things. You can be a king. Stand for peace and band together against bullies. <gasps> Ooh, look what's happening here. It looks like our friends are painting. And this friend wants to paint with the yellow paint, but this friend is like, uh-uh, you can't paint with the yellow paint. He's not being very kind, huh? So look what happened. Looks like our friends all, our friend found other friends to help stand up for him. They all worked together and now they're sharing the paint, right? 
So when you see someone being not nice to another friend, to work together, make sure that everyone is treating each other nicely and fairly. You can be a king. Sing a song of freedom, keep your eyes on the prize, and hold on. It means never give up. Never give up on your dreams. You can be a king. Stamp out hatred and put your foot down and walk tall. Ooh, what does that mean? That means you need to be looking out for others as well, making sure everyone else is being treated fairly. And when you see something that isn't fair, that you stand up for it. You say, this isn't fair. And you walk tall, meaning you feel good about yourself when you do it. This was a picture of when a long time ago, people with dark colored skin were not allowed to ride in the front of the bus. They thought that that wasn't, or people with white colored skin didn't think that they should do that. And so the people with dark colored skin said, well, that's not fair. And so they decided not to take the bus anymore. They did a strike. So that's why the bus is empty in this picture. You can be a king, answer your critics, believe in your cause and state it plainly. That means just believe in yourself, trust yourself, do what you think is right. Here they're saying equal rights for all. That means everyone should be, everything should be fair for each other. You can be a king, have a dream and make yours great enough to grow into. Oh, what does that mean? This is Dr. Martin Luther King here. He gave a very, very special and important speech here. And he had a dream. He had an idea that friends could be treated fairly, that people of all colored skins could be play together and eat together and be friends. And so he had a very, very big dream and he worked really hard to make that dream happen. You can be a king, make the world take notice, do your very best at whatever you do. So what's happening in this picture? Hmm, looks like our friend is up on ladders, they're painting, but our friend with the wheelchair can't get up on the ladder, huh? But what can our friend do? How can he contribute? Looks like he really likes to bake. So he's making some muffins for all the friends who are painting so they can have a snack. Oh, interesting, so they're all working together and contributing whatever they can do, huh? You can be a king, beat the drum for justice, march to your own conscience. Oh, ooh, look at everyone marching there. Looks like they were, vote, they were marching for voting rights, saying that everyone deserves the right to vote. And they were listening to themselves and saying, this is what feels good. This is what I believe in and we're gonna help each other. You can be a king. Lift up the less fortunate. Be the king of or queen of help. What's happening here? Looks like you have to look around and see or who people around you. Who needs help? How can you help them? What can you do? How could you help somebody? You can be a king. Set your sights on the mountaintop and climb a little bit higher every day. So what happened? What did, what did everybody end up painting? Do you notice what they ended up painting? They painted a mural of Dr. Luton, Martin Luther King Jr. Look at that. And they had a goal and they worked really hard on their mural. And every day they worked a little bit harder and a little bit harder and finally they reached their accomplishment. Nice. All right, my friends, give yourselves a big round of applause. So one of the things that I really like about this book and about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s message is it makes me think about how I can make the world a better place. How can I be nicer to those people around me? And so for this, I had an idea of a game called the Wheel of Kindness. Look at this. It's a wheel of six different things that each of us could do to make this world a little bit of a better place. We can be fair. We can be grateful, we can be courageous, 
we can be helpful, we can be a friend, and we can be a sharer. All right, so for our game, I'm gonna introduce us to my friend, Leo the lemur. Hi, Leo, how's it going? <laughs> he says good, he says good. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing a song together, and when we're done singing the chorus, we're gonna spin the Wheel of Kindness and talk about the different ways that we can do this particular item that we land on. Okay, are you ready? All right, so it, our song goes like this. What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go round? One can help another one, and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? All right, you ready to spin? Here we go. Ooh, looks like we landed on being helpful. All right, let's think about what are some ways that we could be helpful? Hmm, what's some ways we could be helpful? What was that, Leo? Oh, helping carrying in groceries. That's a way to be helpful. Or helping to pick up toys, maybe. Um, what if our neighbor needs help? Like, what if our neighbor needs help picking up leaves or, um, I don't know, getting a ball? Maybe they, maybe their ball fell into our yard so we could take give their, their ball back, right? So being helpful, that's a great way to be kind. All right, let's do it again. Ready? Here we go. What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go round? One can help another one, and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? All right, let's spin again, my friends. Here we go. What did we, oh, we landed on, oh, I'm gonna move it over just a little bit because we already landed on be helpful. So we're gonna be courageous. What does be courageous mean? Do you have any ideas, Leo? Let's see. Leo says to stand up for someone. Yeah, so let's say you have a friend and you maybe you have two friends and one friend is not being very nice to the other friend. What would you do? What could you say? You could say, uh-uh. We all play nice together, right? You could tell your one friend to be nice to your other friend, right? That's right. That's, that takes a lot of courage to do that. It takes a lot of strength to be able to stand up to somebody and say, no, that's not fair, right? Good job. All right, here, let's do it again. Here we go. What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go around? One can help another one, and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? All right, let's spin again. Woo! Ooh, be grateful. Do you know what being grateful means? It means thinking about the things that you're really thankful for. Hmm, what are you grateful for, Leo? Oh, Leo is, the lemur is grateful for trees because they're really fun to climb. I know I'm grateful for being able to spend time with my family and I'm grateful for it not being too hot outside. <laughs> it's nice to go outside for a walk when it's not too hot. Um, there's lots of things to be grateful for. What are some things that you're grateful for or thankful for? It's always a nice thing to do that every day to think about something that you're thankful for. It's a nice thing to do. All right, you ready? Let's do it again, here we go. What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go round? One can help another one and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? All right, let's spin again. Spin, spin, spin. Be fair. Ooh, what are some ways to be fair? That's a good one. Would it be fair? Let's say you had two cookies 
and you're with your friend, I'm with Leo, and I decide I'm gonna keep both cookies because I want them. I want them both, is that fair? No, that's not very fair. That's not fair to Leo to not have a cookie if he wants a cookie too, huh? So sharing, I would, if I gave Leo one cookie and I had one cookie, that would be fair, right? What's another thing? Or maybe sharing toys. Let's say Leo brought over a ball and threw the ball at me and then I decided, oh, I'm just gonna keep it and play with it all by myself. Do, 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 do. Oh, Leo looks kind of sad. Leo does not like that. He wanted to play together. Is that fair? No, that's not really fair either. We'd, it'd be more fun if we played together, huh? Yeah, yeah. So think about some ways that you can be fair with your friends. All right, let's do one more, ready? Last one. What can one little person do? What can one little he or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go round? One can help another one and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? All right, our final spin is going to be be a friend. Oh, I like that one. How can we be a good friend? Leo, how can we be a good friend? Oh, me here. Oh, yeah, yes. By listening, listening to our friends, talking with our friends, sharing what we're feeling and thinking with our friends. What are some other ways to be a good friend? What if your friend is sad? What could you do? What could you do? Yeah, you can listen. Maybe you want to give them a hug. Oh, Leo just needs a big hug. Yeah. Um, what else do friends do? They play together. They share things together. What are some other ways that you can be a good friend? Yeah, think about it for a little while. All right, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today for our special story time. I hope you had a good time today, and I hope you can think about how we all can be a little bit kinder to each other and some different ways that you can do that in your own life, okay? All right, my friends, until I see you next time, let's sing our goodbye song. If you Sing along with me if you know the words. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really, really fast because when we stop, <gasps> we have to say goodbye. All right, my friends, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our winter broadcasts are every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.